The sea covers over two-thirds of the planet's surface. Yet we know more about space and the universe than we do about our own oceans. Between the states of Connecticut and New York is the Long Island Sound. A naturally protected channel into New York City used for over hundreds of years. The Sound's rich maritime history has played a significant role in the growth of our country. Join us as we explore its unsung residence and its forgotten history. Hello everybody, this is Captain Dennis with Squalls Marine Divers, and today we're at the Maritime Aquarium in Norwalk, Connecticut. The folks at the aquarium were nice enough to let us bring our cameras in so we could show you what it's like to do targeted feeding in the Go Fish Tank. Here's Chris, he's one of the volunteers on the Maritime Aquarium's dive team, and he's going to be feeding the fish by hand today. Whoa, holy moly, we're getting, these guys are hungry apparently. So here's a container that Chris is going to use to feed all the fish. Some of the fish aren't as quick as the other fish. This is primarily cod in this tank from what I gathered. And there's a couple of fish that just don't have a fighting chance to get food. So we have to bring the food right to the fish's mouth just to make sure that they get fed. How you doing? This tank has all kinds of fish. Cod, pollock, halibut, wolffish, sea ravens, all kinds of stuff. Now, I'm sure I'm missing a few, but if you really want to find out, you'll have to go to the aquarium and check out for yourself. Here's one of the resident halibut. And here are... I think those are Atlantic salmon, or some kind of salmon, and a whole mess load of cod. And there's some wicked cod in here. They're all over the place here. Okay, enough sightseeing. Now let's get down to feeding. As you can see, Chris has to put the food right in the halibut's mouth, and those cod are doing everything they can to get a piece of it. They'll num num for you, there you go. nice to have your own waiter. Here's a sea raven. Here is a wolf fish. I don't know if I do this in the wild. I've heard stories about wolf fish. Nope, Mr. Cod's trying to take it right out of his mouth. Now, if you haven't been down to the Maritime Aquarium in Norwalk, you're missing out on a lot of cool stuff. And you don't want to do that. Whoop! look at that. You didn't miss out on that fish. It's a pretty cool place to take your kids for the day or the afternoon. What do you think, Sea Raven? Yo, yeah. He thinks so, too. Here's another wolf fish. There's another 
card. Ooh, I think this wolf fish is afraid of his food. Another one for the Sea Raven. Yup, too slow, codfish, too slow. Here you can see Chris have to fend off the codfish. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. The Sea Raven's got a chef, a waiter, and a bouncer. There you go. Now here you can see the discipline of a sea raven. No. 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 Okay. Good boy. Well, we're starting to run out of fish. Right, sea raven? Yup. So we've pretty much come to the end of our dive. We'd like to suggest that if you got some young kids with inquisitive minds, the Maritime Aquarium is a great place to take them. Right, Sea Raven? Yup. At this time, I'd like to take a second and thank everybody at the Maritime Aquarium in Norwalk. I'd like to thank the dive team, Tim Thomas, and uh, my good friend Liz, and my good friend Brian, and all the other divers that I met while I was, oh, watch your fingers, while we were down at the Maritime Aquarium. You see these guys? These are sand tigers. We're going to go swimming with them next time. So be sure to keep an eye on our website, squallsmarine.com, and our Facebook page, Squallish Marine Divers. And if you come back, you'll get to see us dive with the sharks. Until then, I'm Captain Dennis.